LTU went to George Mason University to ask the students, what is one piece of advice you have for college students? Yeah, sorry, this is taking me some time because there's like so much. You're responsible for your future, so however you want to spend your time. As a college student, it's all about managing time. Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate <laughs> because that will literally drag you. You have as much time as Beyonce does, so if you want to spend it partying, if you want to spend it studying, you know, whatever you want your outcome to be is how you should plan your time. Really focus on your stuff because like with jobs and everything like it's, it's, it's whack but like it is how it is like GPA really does matter and the way to get your foot in the door is showing like hey listen I've gotten these grades in these classes and uh, try to do some extracurriculars because it, it really puts you apart. Just getting involved you have like a lot of stuff to do and it builds your resume and like other skills. Get involved especially if you're off campus. To get involved more I know that's basic, but I guess the more people you meet, the more you may enjoy your college experience. Just know as many people as you can and always connect. So if you get stressed with school, you can always like meet with someone, study with them. It's different when you have a community to kind of be part of. So. Don't commit to, you know, working with one type of people. Always try to work with a bunch of other people. So at the end of the day, you always have a backup, whether it's for class or whether it's for like, you know, being part of some sort of organization. Join an organization. I think it says, oh, not only will it give you like some friends, but it'll also like give you an opportunity to show employers like what you're interested in. Don't worry about stuff, you know, like don't worry too much. Everything, like if you think of it, everything that you've ever been through, like, you know, from big stuff to like small stuff, like you have an exam, just like don't stress too much. Like just a little bit, stress is necessary, but more than that, you really don't need to. Like everything gets figured out at its own time. I feel like people are so stressed out because they're looking at the whole picture, like the four years, oh, I'm gonna be stuck here for four years and like doing all these like freaking homeworks and it's, it's gonna be hard to stick it out. But like once you just focus on like, you know, Leah, I got this project to do, let me just do that this week. I got this homework to do, this essay to do, let me do that this week. It just goes by quicker and easier. I'm hearing a lot of, oh, I think I'm just gonna take like a gap year off or whatever. Me, my advice, because I took a year or two off, don't do it. Because like a lot of people say like, I don't know what I wanna do, I don't wanna like blah, 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 but you do, you can have like a general idea what field you're in, because a lot of people graduate with their degree and you really don't like usually work in that field but you still get a degree. So like if whatever, like get a business degree, whatever you choose to, to do after that, it's still gonna somehow relate to having a business degree. So I don't think anyone should like take off of school. I did and I regret it. So try new things, put yourself out there even if it makes you uncomfortable, just try it to see if you like it, it might be something you actually enjoy. A lot of time you can feel like you just studying, you follow the same routine every day and it's really hard for you to break out of it, but you, as a student, you have to find something to do that help you, like a little break to help you go back to the routine. So for me, I guess I go work out or just hang out with my friends and stuff like that. But you have to find something so you don't keep falling back to the same routine again and again. Do not get addicted to games. Do not get addicted to games. You need to keep a control leash on that. If you do, you're gonna forget class. Because, you know, college, once a uh, new, you know, these high school students, right, as soon as they get to college and they realize you don't have to go to class, maybe ditching class, they forget, they forget they even have class and, like, you know, the grades start slipping and, like, if you like playing games a lot, don't have a game addiction, all right? I have a game addiction and I learned my lesson from that, but, you know, just, just stuff, stuff like that, you know? And also, for me, I feel like when you go to class, it's really hard for you to get really distracted and not listen to what the professor's saying. You should try your best to listen and try to engage, like take notes, do whatever you can. Because once you start feeling like, oh, what's the point of going to class where I could just stay at the JC or something and just read the note later. But you are paying for your tuition. You should not let it go to waste. If you're gonna go to class, make good use of your time and just don't be on your phone or the computer for the entire time. So. I feel like a lot of people come into school not knowing what to really expect.
expect, I guess that you could say. So my thing would be like, uh, definitely spend a lot of time figuring out what you want to do rather than settling for something. Because even though, I know it's kind of unfortunate to say, but even though you're passionate about one thing, it's not always easy to get a job in that specific category. So you really, really, really got to grind hard. My thing is like, if you're doing something that like a lot of people are doing or is not as demanding job wise, like really like make sure like you're one of the best in like your major. Let's keep the conversation going. Which of these tips did you find to be the most valuable? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting conversations. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll talk again soon.